Music is important because it's it's it opens up some doors in our minds, in our hearts. It it, it will help you go through certain emotions. Uh, I believe the planet would be completely lifeless if there wasn't any music, you know, or sounds or, or stuff that makes us react. Music can also be a healer. Uh, music can make people angry. Music can do a lot of things. It can be a messenger. So I think music is everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> I've always been inclined to music. Uh, even me, young kid, I used to love some songs, made me laugh. And I was, my dad used to listen to a whole bunch of music all the time in the house. So I guess it was it was there already. Um, I very have an artistic nature. I mean, my granddad's a painter. My my mom's an artist. Uh, so my I already have that tendency to be creative. Hi, my name is Alex Belgard. Uh, I live in Montreal. I'm an, uh, jazz bass player. I didn't think I was going to be a jazz musician when I started off. I started off because I thought I was going to be a rock star. I loved Pink Floyd and all that stuff and I had the big picture in my mind of being a world famous uh, pop artist. But um, I guess over time and uh, musical experience and bands I ended up uh, becoming a jazz musician because that kind of music uh, brought me the freedom I need, I need to express myself. Skip Bay was a, a bass player uh, who was originally from uh, Ohio, who moved into Montreal, I think in the late 60s or early 70s. And he worked here as a, as a professional upright bass player for many, 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 many years. And he was known by almost all the musicians uh, around here as for, uh, for his warmth as an as a, as a individual. Skip Bay was my mentor. I think I came here want, wanting a whole lot of stuff, being a musician, but not really knowing maybe what direction or how to get to it. And when I met Skip Bay, I remember him not teaching me the slightest thing on the bass. And that was always surprised me, but he taught me so much about the whole aspect of the business and, and playing music in itself. So uh, Skip Bay was, uh, was my mentor. It's very important to play with other musicians. Just like having a conversation by yourself is kind of boring. So just on that level, having another musician will throw back ideas at you. The jam session. Jam session is a weekly night that I've been uh, running for a little over 10 years now. 
Uh, I basically learned everything I know in jam sessions about dealing with musicians and a whole, there's a whole bunch of aspects you learn. So I took it upon myself to continue that tradition, which my teacher who passed away now, we used to do every week with his friend up until he was 79. So uh, for me, it's a very important and it's a very big part of the jazz scene. Since jazz music is a, is a very improvised and live music, the jam session is, becomes a spot of creation and uh, of uh, socialization where we can kind of hook up and, and relate, talk to each other. And I try and run my jam session so it, it will uh, get professional musicians, uh, which I mean is people who work, who gig. Because like in all arts, you have also people who are musicians as a hobby. And we try to keep it with the professional guys. So, so I have it as a place where when they finish their gigs, restaurant gig or cocktail or whatever, they can come and hang out, have a beer and play some music with some good musicians. I think I should be running the jam sessions for as long as I live because uh, as my, my peer before me, music is, a, is an art that's played until you, you cannot physically do it anymore, I guess. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing it until I can't, until life tells me I can't do any more music. Yeah. 